द वे फॉरवर्ड इज थोड़ा बहुत बहुत स्वागत है मैं थोड़ा होस्ट हरजोत सिंह प्रेजिडेंट ट्रंप की इम्पीचमेंट प्रोसीडिंग्स अगे वही हूँ एक ऐसी स्टेज आ गई है जिसके उपर जी हेयरिंग्स हैं हूँ पब्लिक की जा हाउस ने पिछले हफ्ते वोट भी पैस की है फॉर इम्पीचमेंट प्रेजिडेंट ट्रंप की टीम जी है रिपब्लिकन पार्टी पूरी इस गल का पहले कुछ दे हैड दिस इशूज कि प्रोसैस फॉलो नहीं किया जा रहा हूँ ये प्रोसैस कितने पहुँचे है इस इम्पीचमेंट प्रोसीडिंग की डिवलपमेंट है इस बारे असी गल करेंगे अपने पोलिटिकल कोरस्पोंडेंट जैग राजपाल जी नाल जैग जी थोड़ा बहुत बहुत स्वागत है जैग सानू दसोगे कि ये इम्पीचमेंट प्रोसीडिंग्स इसलिए कितने पहुंची हैं so hajot eh you know almost been ne pehle or so when we had an episode asi apne viewers nu dassya thi ke impeachment di query start ho gayi and sab to pehle jada hai ka ek informal phase start hua si the thin form of inquiry start kar deti thi various committees ne fir almost do teen hafte ne hafte pehle the the house speaker nancy pelosi she announced that she is launching a formal inquiry and there was a formal direction by the house speaker to different committees to start doing inquiries mm mm-hmm. uh this is where you know kafi uh, back and forth chalda rehnda hai between republican and democratic party ki a process jehdi hai ki sahi tarike naal follow nahi ho rahi hai ki there is a way to uh, conduct these inquiries they also a topic che karde karde just a week and a half do of date of the pehle uh again speaker pelosi uh she uh, got together and they voted the house voted on what the rules of these conducting these inquiries will be mm-hmm. the rules and guidelines for conducting this inquiries mm-hmm. the post rules they the pure house ne vote kita it was a very partisan vote none of the republicans voted all democrats voted except one say oh hoya did up the pehle स्टिल यू नो दे आर कंप्लेन के अज जरा है फॉर्मल हाउस ने पूरा हाउस ने पूरी तो ऑथराइजेशन नहीं दी हैगी टू स्टार्ट अ फॉर्मल इम्पीचमेंट इंक्री जस्ट लाइक हैपन विद बिल क्लिंटन एंड रिचर्ड निक्सन टाइम्स तो वह प्रोसैस क्वेश्चन अजे भी उठाया जा रहा है एंड तीजा कदम क्यों नहीं उठाया जा रहा है दे सम पॉलिटिक्स बिहाइंड दैट इन द डेमोक्रेटिक पार्टी is yet to be seen we don't understand we don't know what's going on but this is where aaj jada aayega aaj as pass se hai si in the process side no so kafi so, so, i'm sorry to see sir viewers se thoda clarify karoge what is it that needs to be done we understand ki house ne vote pass kar deti hai for uh, impeachment inquiry is that right nahi so ai you step jada aayega sab to vadda step hunda aayega this is what the biggest complaint by republican says ji ki aj house ne authorize nahi kita hega for launching a impeachment inquiry house ne jada aayega it launch jada vote kita aayega this was ki eh jehdi committees inquiry kar rahi hain mm-hmm. oh kehde rules no follow karengi kehde guidelines to follow karengi for example yehi to an kisi nu subpoena karna hega ji for a committee de hearing vaste to kis tarah subpoena karoge kaun karega kehdi process hega लॉन्च फॉर्मल inquiry on to the impeaching of president bill clinton which is called the authorization of impeachment mm-hmm. oh step aaj tak nahi hoya hai ga and there is a lot of political reasons behind why the and uh, speaker pelosi has not do, done it ji te is 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 stage te jehde uh, jehde formal charges han oh oh kis stage te uh, samne aange te you know sadde viewers no go and remind karan vaste te eh jada hega te pura process start hoya si impeachment di kahani start hui hai ki kyunki president trump di call hui si with ukraine president president zelensky ji 
ਜਿਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਐਲੀਗੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਆ ਦੇਅਰ ਇੱਕ ਵਿਸਲ ਬਲੋਰ ਹੈਗਾ ਐਂਡ ਵੀਲ ਟਾਕ ਵਿਸਲ ਬਲੋਰ ਮੇਬੀ ਇਨ ਦੇ ਲੇਟਰ ਪਾਰਟ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਬਟ ਸਮਰੀ ਕੰਪਲੇਨ ਇੱਕ ਬੰਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕੀ ਐਪ ਕਾਲ ਨੂੰ ਸੁਣ ਰਿਹਾ ਸੀ ਵੈਨ ਦ ਟੂ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ਿਡੈਂਟਸ ਵੇਰ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਉਸ ਨੇ ਕੰਪਲੇਨ ਕੀਤੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਇੰਸਪੈਕਟਰ ਜਨਰਲ ਨੂੰ ਇਨ ਦੀ ਇੰਟੈਲੀਜੈਂਸ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਕੀ ਐ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਕੰਸਰਨਿੰਗ ਇਟ ਵਾਇਲੇਟਡ ਸਮ ਲਾਸ ਪਰਹੈਪਸ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਵਾਸ ਪੋਟੈਂਸ਼ੀਅਲੀ ਅ ਕਵਿਟ ਪ੍ਰੋ ਕੋ Uh, which in simple or layman's terms means ki somebody is seeking a favor in exchange for something else mm-hmm. so this is all that call started the whole uh, process of impeachment lokan ne kya ke uh, president trump jehde hai ni the you know he is asking a favor from the ukraine president it, it, was that a favor for the country or a personal favor so you know this is where there's there's uh, multiple stories these are all allegations we don't know then that that's what this impeachment process and inquiry is about mm-hmm. uh, allegations are on both sides the uh, democratic side says that well this was on a personal side because uh, president trump wanted to uh, president zelensky ukraine president to investigate his political rival uh, uh, joe biden mm-hmm. the republican side of the story is well you know we wanted to we have been united states and which is true has been pursuing ukraine for the last 10 years to to uh, clean up corruption at their end mm-hmm. and president trump did nothing different other than pressing on president zelensky in the call ki hey tusi corruption was the ki kar rahe hoge and by the fact in that matter you know to see a burisma a company hai ki mm-hmm. energy company which keeps the uh, naap kafi andar and i guess uh, ਇਸ ਮਾਮਲੇ ਚ ਜੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਬਰਿਸਮਾ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਕੀ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹੋਗੇ ਐਂਡ ਵਿਚ ਐਂਡ ਜੋ ਬਾਈਡਨ ਫੈਨ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਬੋਰਡ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਆਫ ਬਰਿਸਮਾ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਸਾਰੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇਹ ਇਹ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜੇ 400 ਮਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਾਲਰਸ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਮਿਲਟਰੀ ਏਡ ਸੀ ਆਈ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਕਿ ਉਸ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਕੰਸਰਨਿੰਗ ਹੈ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਟ ਟਰੰਪ ਇਜ਼ ਅਲੈਜਡ ਟੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੋਲਡ the ukrainian president ki assi a fund tad release karange when you stand up and declare ki tusi ek formal investigation launch kar rahe ho jo biden de son de against or the family de against for for their role with that the company you just mentioned is that right yes so, so uh, that's what the allegation is mm-hmm. the the call jeda hoya si president trump and president zelensky de vichkar oh de vich there is no direct expressions which says ki president trump ne kya hai ga ki to see investigation start karo ta to an aid milegi as ta di koi gal jehdi written call di transcript release hui hai ki ode vich kuch nahi likhya hai but that is subject to interpretation ek side keh rahi hai ki bhai it is saaf hai ga ki obviously there is a word used such as favor and the other side is saying ki aisa nahi hai but there have been some witnesses jehde uh, ukraine de nal aur jehde kuch career uh, diplomats hage who have come forward and uh, uh, given testimony ki yes there seem to be an understanding ki tusi a formally launch karoge investigation tad tado paisa release kita jayega tad tak nahi kita jayega is that right you know it's a lot of uh, you know yes yes and no i would say so you know it's a lot of he said she said ਅੱਜ ਤੱਕ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਵੀ ਤੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਆਏ ਹਨ ਹਾਊਸ ਕਮੇਟੀ ਦੇ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਜੀ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਟੈਸਟੀਫਾਈ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਅਗੇਂਸਟ ਔਨ ਦਿਸ ਇੰਪੀਚਮੈਂਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੈਸ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿ ਮੇਰੀ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਐ ਕਵਿਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਕਰੋ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਜਾਂ ਫੇਵਰ ਮੰਗਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿ ਐ ਟਰੰਪ ਐਡਮਿਨਿਸਟ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਨੇ ਐ ਇਹ ਨੂੰ ਹੋਲਡ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀ ਅੰਡਰ ਅੰਟਿਲ ਯੂਕਰੇਨ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਟ ਲਾਂਚਸ ਐ ਇਨਵੈਸਟੀਗੇਸ਼ਨ ਬਟ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੇ ਐ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਨੇ ਪਤਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਔਰ ਐ ਪ੍ਰੂਫ ਹੈਗਾ ਸਾਰੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਮੇਰੇ ਖਿਆਲ ਤੋਂ ਮੇਰੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਮਝ ਆਂਦੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਕਿ ਐਸ ਨਾ ਸੀ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਥਿੰਗ ਥੈਨ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਕਿ ਐ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ ਦ ਟੂ ਪਰਸਨਸ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਐਨ ਐਕਸਚੇਂਜ ਆਫ ਫੇਵਰ ਦੈਟ ਹੈਪਨ ਜੈਕ ਜੀ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਵੇਅਰ ਦ ਕਰਕਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਮੈਟਰ ਇਜ਼ ਜੀ ਜੈਕ ਜੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਜਾਰੀ ਰੱਖਾਂਗੇ ਇੱਕ ਛੋਟੀ ਜੀ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਦੇ ਬਾਅਦ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦਾ ਵੇ ਫਾਰਵਰਡ ਇਸ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਹੋਸਟ ਹਰਜੋਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟਲੀ ਯੂ ਐਸ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਟ ਡੋਨਾਲਡ ਟਰੰ
जैक जी सू गल दसो हूँ असी सुनिया कि पब्लिक पब्लिकली जी हूँ हेयरिंग है वह की जाएगी कैन यू कैन यू टेल अस कि पहले की होया है और हूँ पब्लिक करने का की मतलब है Jyot, uh, you know, the, basically just to bring more transparency in this whole process. उससे करके ऐसा हो रहा है का ये ये तक जिन्ही testimonies हुई हैं, जितने भी witnesses ने बुलाया गया है का वो सारे closed door private testimonies लिखती गई हैं in front of the committees, which are composed composed of both Republicans and Democrats. जी but uh, impeachment process जड़ी है ये आम जनता नू transparency लान वास्ते तक कि public नू लगे कि जरा जो कुछ भी होया साढ़े सामने होया है का टीवी इधर सामने होया है पीपल कैन वॉच एंड टीवी हीर एंड रेडियोज ए क्लारिटी एंड ट्रांसपेरेंसी लान वास्ते ए जड़ी ये पब्लिक हीरिंग्स आर ऑलवेज हेल्प दिस इज़ हाउ हमेशा इम्पीचमेंट प्रोसेस हुई है कि पहले वो बिल क्लिंटन सी या उस तो पहले किसी दिन जिदी भी हुई जाएगी तो होन जरा आएगा स्पीकर प्लोसी ने क्या आएगा कि स्टार्टिंग नेक्स्ट वीक ऐ जेडी टेस्टमिनीज हुई हैं जेडी की बंदे ऑलरेडी आ चुके हैं क्लोज डोर टेस्टमिनी वास्ते वो काफी बंदे फिर तो बुलाए जाएंगे फॉर अ पब्लिक हीरिंग वो सेम बंदे आदि टेस्टमिनी दोबारा लेती जाएगी जाग जी तुष्य कह रहे थे कि कि there is still you know no clarity on कि इस नूर कोई प्रोक को क्या जा सकता है कि नहीं और did something like that happen which is being alleged by the Democrats but ऐसी वे क्या कि कुछ जेडे करियर डिप्लोमेट्स हैं who who are not you know very partisan people like Bill Taylor उन्हें बड़ी स्ट्रॉंग टेस्टिमनी सामने आई है, यू नो कंफर्मिंग द एलिगेशंस। व्हाट डू यू सेट उधर? यू नो अगेन हर जो यू नो यस एंड नो यू नो यस दिस आर करियर डिप्लोमेट्स। दे शुड बी ट्रस्ट दे शुड बी ट्रस्टेड। दे आर ऑनरेबल पीपल। दे आर पेट्रियट्स एस वेल। at the same time, you know, you look at the other side, you know, it's a kind of a glass half full. You look at the other view of uh, the other side of the aisle. One other can I say, you know, from day one, all these career diplomats, uh, bureaucrats, from day one, they have never liked Trump's style of presidency. Hmm. Trump is very brash, he's blunt. Lokanio Skutvalki, you know, he's always characterized by a lot of lot of people as a bigoted, xenophobic racist. But is so, it, isn't isn't Gordon Sunland uh, Trump appointee? He is. In fact, he was the one of the donors to uh, President Trump's uh, campaign as well. Mm -hmm. And who two very achukya aga for a closed door testimony. Pehli bari jado I see a date of the pehle, ona ne kya ki a koi kudro ko ko nisi. But when he came back yesterday, then he said, "Ke oh, many yaad hega ki ek Poland che ek meeting hui si, jide which you know, as type di koi girl discuss hui si between one aide and me." Ji ji ji. But thodi thodi funny ji. Unadi. Hega aite oh, pata nahi hega. Ji ji. Thodi funny ji unadi statement hai. He says ki my my recollection is refreshed by other people's testimonies. But jide Bill Taylorin. He has worked with all administrations uh, right from Nixon's time, right? He retired. He was brought back by uh, our, uh, I, I believe, Pompeo, the Secretary yes. of State, right? Yes. He, he is a, he's a veteran. He's a highly respected man. And one of the JD uh, testimony, I think he might be a star witness uh, against President Trump. You know, yeah, definitely. I think it's a credible testimony. You know, again, but he said that his understanding was. See, the crux, अजय भी उतनी आ जाना है का कि सारे बंदे आके कह रहे हैं कि ऐ मैन लग गया है का कि एक क्विड प्रो कोर्स सी कोई बंदा ऐ नहीं कहना कि ऐ ऐ मेरे को ईमेल हैगी ये ऐ लिखत पढ़त के चिट्टी पत्री हैगी मेरे सामने जिधे चिधे को ऐ ट्रंप एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन दे एक बंदे ने एक ऐ वाकिया या ईमेल या कोई कम्युनिकेशन पे जाएगा ऐ कोई भी इस तरह का कोई सॉलिड प्रूफ नहीं दे पा रहा है सारे बंदे कहने हैं कि मैं लग गया है और मेरे दिमाग से तो क्लियर सी कि ट्रंप एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ही तो फेवर मांग रहा है आएगा सो 
ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਇੱਥੇ ਪ੍ਰੂਵ ਕਰਨਾ ਥੋੜਾ ਔਖਾ ਕੰਮ ਹੈਗਾ ਇੱਥੇ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਜਸਟ ਗੋ ਬਾਈ ਪੀਪਲਸ ਵਰਡਸ ਬਟ ਯੂ نو ਇਟ ਅਗੇਨ ਅਜੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਇੱਕ ਸੈਟ ਆਫ ਟੈਸਟਮਨੀਜ਼ ਆਈ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਵੈਨ ਦੇ ਇੰਪੀਚਮੈਂਟ ਇਨਕੁਇਰੀ ਗੋਸ ਇਨਟੂ ਦਾ ਪਬਲਿਕ ਫੇਸ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਟ ਟਰੰਪ if he allows and if he actually supports this inquiry mm-hmm. he will get a chance to bring his testimonies as well mm-hmm. and you will have 20 such people saying it was not a quid pro quo hon to si kisno se trust karoge ji 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 so this is where how i think it will keep on going 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 and we'll see uh, where it sort of how it culminates ek bade important jede uh, witness and and i think uh, the democrats might be contemplating ki unna nu laiye na laiye that is john bolton right yes and w- what do you think uh, like yaange unna nu you know and john bolton has said that unless uh, until he is forced he will not voluntarily uh, succumb to a subpoena yes but he has said that if he is subpoenaed he'll come and appear he'll he will come and appear yes ji um and it'll be interesting to see you know uh, as uh, you know sadhvi viewers nu shayad pata hai dhyan hoye ki uh, bolton was uh, recently let go of uh, president trump's administration because of differences mm-hmm. of opinions especially related to ukraine and other matters ji mm-hmm. and syria mm-hmm. so you know there is already a uh, little bit of differences between the two uh, these two people ki hoya hai ki ni kaadi bani hai and now that creates a kind of uh, you know ambiguity and whatever he says mm-hmm. and and no one is sure when it comes to uh, john bolton that that that's been his uh, his life right uh right. sanu tusi e uh, dasso ki e whistle blower di jehdi protection hai i understand ki kuch uh, you know something has been done recently jehde uh, donald trump the uh, bete in president trump the trump junior he named somebody that he's a whistle blower can you tell us about the protections that are given to uh, whistle blowers under us law so you know jehda sada uh, whistle blower protection statute hai ga law hai ga wo kehnda hai ga ki you know uh, any whistle blower whistle blower banda kaun hunda hai jehda ki banda who is working for the government in mm-hmm. uh, because the government di gal kar rahe hain mm-hmm. whistle blower can exist in a private corporation also mm-hmm. so koi banda jehda government vaste kaam karda hai ga and he reports a possible existing of some kind of activity which jo jehda usnu lagda hai ki it's a violation of a law rules regulation or you know gross management of funds you know and and, and similar things Ji. then he can go and complain to the inspector general ke eh fala fala banda is tarah abuse kar raha hai ga ya is tarah galat kaam kita hai ga and uh, the the law says that no such retaliatory action will be taken against such a whistle blower mm-hmm. if he if he files a complaint mm-hmm. the only other specific thing the law says mm-hmm. that the inspector general of the intelligence community to whom this complaint is made he is the one you know just no complaint mili hai he will not reveal the identity of the whistle blower which makes sense it's a common sense but it's in the law also mm-hmm. uh but hun aajkal jehdi gal chal rahi hai ki can anybody else leak the name of the whistle blower mm-hmm. can i can you or pre- president trump or can the speaker or uh, somebody else can the press release the name the law does not say anything about that mm-hmm. so it's subject to interpretation we all know our laws are you know some you know, especially constitution and laws they get ambiguous mm-hmm. so us ambiguity karke i think people are holding themselves back but the law to have koi wording clear hai but I, i think this this would be common sense that the intent of the law would be to hide the identity of that person taki us de khilaf koi retribution na hoye assi jag ji e gal tonal karde rahange jari rakhange ek choti ji break de baad द वे फॉरवर्ड इज थोड़ा फिर तो स्वागत है मैं थोड़ा होस्ट हरजोत सिंह असी अज गल कर रहे हैं श्री जैग राजपाल जी जी इम्पीचमेंट प्रोसीडिंग जिससे चलती पी है प्रेजिडेंट ट्रंप के खिलाफ उस दे बारे जैग जी तुम सू इम्पीचमेंट के बारे दसिया सू सू दसो एक कई जेडे लॉसूट्स और कन्विक्शन इस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन के नाल शुरू तो रिलेटिड होए हैं uh we have seen convictions of paul manafort michael flynn you know, the national security advisor uh president trump their personal attorney rick gates right hun asi aaj jera trial shuru hoya hai uh 
another uh, person who's, who has been very closely associated uh, with uh, President Trump's campaign, uh, Roger Stone. Some of the trials have been done, key allegations are against this case? Hanji uh, Hajjot, you know, Roger uh, Stone's, you know, the flamboyant uh, aide of uh, Trump, uh, he's a very close associate of uh, President Trump. Ji. Are they against, uh, Rob, you know, uh, Mullernick allegations like he, ke, you know, he colluded or he helped collude the camp, uh, Trump's campaign mm -hmm. uh, with Russia, which led to the Russian interference in 2020 elections. Mm -hmm. So when he took testimonies of Roger Stone during the Mueller investigation, they, you know, Kafi Chijai they came out that he is either hiding, he's lying, mm -hmm. and there looked like a clear evidence where he had colluded in uh, in helping Russia interfere with the election. So Docha Chijai they're against allegations and and this trial. That's what the trial just uh, started a couple so. It is that you know Roger Stone knew pata si ki a Julian Assange jide WikiLeaks to associate banda hega and jina ne a Democratic uh, Party di emails to leak kita si o din aale ra ki tal mail si you know o us knew pata si lekin us ne the dasya nahi kisi no o din aal gal karan vaste Julian Assange din aal gal karan vaste kere intermediate lokan us ne use kita si you know o bhi us dewar us ne the chut bolia hega he covered deda. Uh, and you know there is many other uh, allegations against him, but most importantly, the JD information has to Mili Hagi from WikiLeaks and Julian Assange. Mm -hmm. You know he colluded that information with uh, President Trump's uh, then campaign to help him in the election. Mm -hmm. So I have three four big allegations, and mm -hmm. as the trial start hoya. I believe aaj kuch uh, text samne ayen. जिसे जो रॉजर स्टोन एक गैंगस्टर स्टाइल वेज थ्रेटन कर दे पे उस रेडियो होस्ट नो रैंडी क्रोडी को आई बिलीव हिस कॉल जिस वजह से ही अलेज कि ही वाज अ पर्सन हु यू नो सेट अप द मीटिंग एंड वेर एस दैट के दैट वाज फाउंड आउट नॉट टू बी ट्रू राइट या दैट्स राइट दैट्स राइट जी and एक होर आज कोर्ट दा ऑर्डर असी सुने हैं जिस दे वेच कोर्ट ने डायरेक्ट किताय प्रेसिडेंट ट्रंप नो सम टू मिलियन डॉलर्स कुछ चैरिटीज नो देन लाई बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ सम मिसयूज़ ऑफ़ द फंड्स ऑफ़ हिज फाउंडेशन व्हिच इज़ अ चैरिटेबल फाउंडेशन सान उस बारे कुछ दसोगे हाँ जी जो यू नो President Trump did a non-charitable organization, the Trump Foundation. There was a lawsuit where, amongst many other things, a allegation in which the President Trump team acknowledged that they improperly allowed the campaign staff to coordinate with this charitable organization in holding a fundraiser for the veterans leading up to the 2016 election. Mm -hmm. You know, many people remember that si, President Trump has pledged that he is going to raise a lot of money for the veterans. Mm -hmm. So, but he coordinated his campaign to work with the charitable organization. And Sata Jara America the law hai ga, it bars any uh, political uh, association coordination of non uh, non uh, charitable organization or non profit organization. Mm -hmm. So that was the big thing. Amongst many other things, uh, you know, uh, there are smaller things. Karib two lakh dollar jaega, or ana settle kita aega. Ke Trump de jere Trump own golf courses and o de which ana ne koi events host kiti si from this non-profit organization. They also promoted President Trump's hotels in these some of those charitable events that were hosted by this Trump foundation. So two four chiza le ke total jaega settlement hoya. So a settlement uh, has been reached for for a sum of two million dollars. Uh, yes, yes, that's right. जी 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 and uh, do you see any any impact of these uh, uh, impeachment proceedings or on those uh, results? So 
you know, uh, Anjo, it's a good segue. Uh, you know, if I may, I think it's there are two ways as I see the outcome of these last Tuesday's elections. Ji. Ikte hega ke, you know, uh, there's a lot of uh, anti-Trump sentiments amongst a lot of uh, larger, lot larger population segment. The other effect ki reaga. And the second is ki the Democratic Party. Which is being driven to a very progressive uh, charters, Oda mm inte -hmm. effect uh, on this election. So, mm -hmm. if you look at uh, the Tuesday's election, keeping these two high level things in mind, mm -hmm. um, you know, the Republicans overall, you know, they won 12 out of the 13 statewide elections. That's oh. the high level summary. Jithe uh, inte contention aya hega, it's Kentucky. Uh, Jithe ki governor election is still on a stalemate. Okay. The uh, incumbent governor, Matt Bevin, uh, he's recalled for a uh, re canvas of the elections. Because mm -hmm. there's a vote difference hega, uh, between his uh, contender, Democratic mm -hmm. guy, Andy Bashir, which is close to 5,000 votes. Ji. You know, it's a very close tie race, mm -hmm. but Khasia baat hai hi ki Ajda Governor C. Matt Bevin, he's a very unpopular governor. Mm -hmm. He made a lot of uh, anti-union stands, anti-labor stands, mm -hmm. and he had a 20-point deficit leading mm -hmm. into these elections. Mm -hmm. But just a couple of days before election, President Trump showed up mm -hmm. and he sh uh, helped rally uh, Governor Bevin, mm -hmm. which helped him narrow this gap. So, you know, Ikpase, you know, it looks like Trump has a big, President Trump has a big sway still in his base. He was able to close a huge gap in a matter of days. Mm -hmm. uh, that, Pase, that, that might be subject to interpretation, Jack G. There might uh, be people say, there might be people saying, ki, uh, President Trump stood there two days back and said, this is almost like a referendum, uh, referendum on him. He said ki uh, message uh, bada galat jayega agar tusi harauge and he pleaded with people don't do that to me and still uh, the Republican governor lost although uh, by a very uh, narrow margin but uh, he did lose. As, yeah, as well, you know, he's not the pass. I think they're going to go for re-canvas of the votes so we'll see how, how the uh, outcome comes out. He, um, on the second side, you know, I mean, if you look at the same state, Kentucky, mm -hmm. you know, Daniel Cameroon, he was being elected as the first Republican attorney general. Mm -hmm. He's uh, African-American mm -hmm. and uh, first Republican to become uh, attorney general in over 70 years. It's a huge, huge, uh, I think, victory for African-American community and also from a Republican party to get uh, a very... A diverse face. G, G, G. Um, you know, there's another some history that made, and if you look at Mississippi, mm -hmm. we had the first female attorney general who got elected, mm -hmm. but she also was a Republican. Mm. Uh, so we saw some mixed results, but the two key takeaways, uh, you know, is uh, that uh, in Virginia, mm -hmm. uh, the state, both House and the Senate, was uh, overtaken by the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. so there was a blue wave that we saw in Virginia. Mm -hmm. But what I think, in my opinion, is not important that it was a blue wave, mm -hmm. but more important is what kind of uh, you know, policies they held. All these people were very moderate Democrats. That, that's, uh, that's, so that's very important. That's very important for uh, the 220 elections. Asi is bare tornal gal karange ek choti ji break de baat. The way forward is Tawla Firtu Swagata, Matoda host her Jot Singh. Jack Ji, so uh, you would say ki AJD blue wave kuch low claim kardepin. This is limited to Virginia. You won't say there's a blue uh, blue wave across the country that we saw last Tuesday. Is that right? Um, Anji, yes, yes. I think it was just uh, I think it was just confined to Virginia. Everywhere else, I think Republicans they even made this foothold stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, but speaking of Virginia, you know the khas baat hai hai ke jithe local elections, state level elections, se jere Democrats jitte hain, mm -hmm. most of them, majority of them were moderate Democrats. Mm -hmm. So as to pata lagda hai ki the jere Republican Party ne jere uh, uh, votes lose kiye hain, which primarily came from the suburban parts of Virginia, mm -hmm. those voters. In 
instead of flocking towards Republican candidates, they went for a moderate Democrat. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. AK probably, I think it's a lesson or is a key message to the national level Democratic players mm -hmm. going into next year, uh, you know, it's most going to be helpful to have a moderate candidate. Another interesting thing happened, speaking of that, mm -hmm. Washington State, mm -hmm. you know, to take a, you know, progressive uh, charters took place several years ago, and it's a very big stronghold of progressiveness. Mm -hmm. uh, over there, uh, the local mayor, who was a progressive candidate, lost. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the local constituents who are running for local assembly in uh, Seattle, mm -hmm. uh, all these are progressive candidates. They all lost big mm -hmm. time against mm -hmm. the Republican candidates. Let me ask you this. AJD uh, elections, you said uh, the moderate uh, Democrats won and they won against uh, Republicans. There must have been a primary um, process at some stage. The AJD moderate Democrats and JD Samnian, kya a progressive Democrats no harake Samnian? Is that what you're saying? That within the Democratic Party, you see outsiders don't, don't uh, vote in the primaries. So within the Democratic Party, there's a shift towards the moderates rather than the progressives. Is that what you're saying? At the individual, like in Virginia, that's what we saw. That's what we saw in Virginia. Virginia. That's what happened. Uh, that Kijado at state level elections, where it's a lot of moderate uh, uh, Democrats, they defeated their progressive uh, uh, colleagues to mm -hmm. win the ballot on the Democratic Party side, and they in turn then repeated their Republican side. Mm -hmm. Washington State, you know, it was just a you know city level election. It took prime reason on the city level, mm -hmm. but the progressives all lost against the Republicans, where they were you know butted against Republicans. Mm -hmm. So that's the message. You know, I think is that uh, a progressive agenda. Maybe we have to be very careful at the national level mm -hmm. how it might apply, how it might impact the 2020 elections. Mm -hmm. And we are seeing a challenge to that from within the party. Nancy Pelosi has come out saying that some of these uh, things won't fly in November. She has come with a slogan, remember November, right? Remember November, the November election. And then uh, today we saw Hillary Clinton coming out uh, against the ideas of uh, Medicare, single payer, Medicare for all. So uh, is, is there a pushback within the Democratic Party against those uh, ideas which they believe uh, might not uh, get them the White House in 2020? I, I think so. You know, and, and this is where I think, uh, you know, I, I believe, you know, because... The, the, if you look at the top three contenders in the Democratic primaries, yeah. uh, Warren, Sanders, and Biden, mm -hmm. two-thirds of them are very extremely progressive uh, candidates. Mm -hmm. And we know, I think, going into the party is realizing that, you know, air agenda jaraega backfire na kar jaya against President Donald Trump, who's the sitting incumbent. Mm -hmm. Say, you know, that's one of the reasons why there's a very political stance being taken how to handle the impeachment also. Gee. You know, it's called, you know, I think a lot of people are calling it the impeachment gate. Mm -hmm. In lack of a better policy, use that as a weapon to defeat Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's like you said, you know, Speaker Pelosi is very mindful. Hillary Clinton recently said that we should be mindful in choosing a candidate mm -hmm. who can not only win popular vote, Gee. but elect vote, which is what's important. Mm -hmm. uh, Jack Ji, Sanu, the primary process chalda pe hai, democratic uh, presidential uh, nomination was there. Where does it stand? Who are the front runners right now? Who has been left out? Kon chadgain? I believe uh, certain candidates have uh, declared ki wo, uh, race jo bar nikal rein. Is that right? Yes, you know, the most uh, recent uh, departure was uh, the Texas Congressman Pete Obergrook. You know, he uh, le left the race, mm -hmm. uh, citing that he doesn't have enough funds to last this uh, primary campaign. Gee. One of the primary reasons for his loss or his early exit, as people are saying, is because he openly came, came out saying that I'll be the first person who will clearly take everybody's guns away. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's, it's being, you know, challenged that that probably, I think, uh, kind of dried up his uh, uh, campaign funds from a lot of the independents and mm -hmm. Democrats, conservative Democrats, who mm -hmm. still believe that, you know, uh, guns Second are a part of our man. life. Yeah. Yeah. So, right now, after his departure, Kamala Harris is still trailing, mm -hmm. you know, in single digits. The top three candidates are uh, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, and uh, Joe Biden. Who, in their who's the front runner right now? 
So if you look at uh, national poll, uh, you know, Joe Biden is still the front runner. But mm -hmm. if you look at Iowa uh, caucus poll, polls that are just focusing on Iowa, mm -hmm. uh, over there, Elizabeth Warren is the front runner. Oh, okay. And, and uh, we hear that Kamala Harris is walking on thin ice. Is that right? Uh, yes. You know, her campaign has been struggling. Uh, New Hampshire, which holds the first uh, primary, right. uh, just right after Iowa caucus, she has fired most of the campaign uh, staffers over there. She has thinned it out. So it looks like, you know, I think she's losing a lot of momentum, and which we could see coming into the Democratic um, uh, debates. That she's clearly losing momentum nationally and in, in her own state of California. Mm -hmm. and, and I believe uh, Pete Buttigieg, he, he has gained some momentum. Is that right? Uh, very interesting. You know, at a national level, Pete Buttigieg, you know, he's pulling at single digits, 9 to 10 points, whereas the other three frontrunners are in their 15 to 20 points range. Mm -hmm. But in Iowa caucus, mm -hmm. uh, Pete Buttigieg is almost at par with the rest of the candidates. He is 15, uh, Warren is 17, uh, Sanders is 16, Biden is 15. So they're all kind of a, a collusion of four uh, uh, candidates with same equal footing over there. Mm -hmm. Jack ji, Sanu, it dekhano milta hai ki and and uh, it's it's alleged ki JD uh, Elizabeth Warren hai. She has started taking uh, you know some stance towards the center with uh, with some particular things. Maybe uh, okay, ki Obama ki er nu asi thoda improve kar sakte ya, modify kar sakte ya, not necessarily take the whole thing out. Uh, is there a, any truth to that, or is this just a posturing uh, for the primaries? I think it's more of a, a posturing for the primaries. Having said that, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people say, you know, what's the key difference between Sanders and Warren? Mm -hmm. You know, Elizabeth Warren has adopted most of the progressive policies, mm -hmm. JDK, uh, uh, Sanders ne champion ki thi in last uh, four or five years. Mm -hmm. But the key difference is, you know, uh, Bernie Sanders, you know, he's a self-proclaimed democratic socialist mm. who's advocating revolution. Mm -hmm. Whereas Elizabeth Warren, she claims herself as a capitalistic person through, you know, working for the working class people. Gee, gee. So her slogan is slightly different, even though the policies she's trying to use to achieve that objective mm -hmm. are similar to Bernie Sanders. Mm -hmm. But uh, she she claims that she's she has a full uh, confidence in capitalism. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, she's always butting her head against these big uh, corporations, which uh, <laughs> which dread her, right? This this is where you know I feel that it's more of a posture for uh, the primary election because she is the one who has been very vocal. Ke Facebook and Amazon, which companies and on a new breakup, kita jana chahi daega. They should be broken into smaller chunks. Ji, ji, ji. Um, it's it's that's a very anti-capitalistic uh, stance that she has taken. So yes, you're right. You know, <laughs> Jack Ji, any truth to the rumors that Hillary Clinton or Mayor Bloomberg might be considering uh, joining their race at any time? You know, uh, Mayor Bloomberg is seriously considering uh, putting his hat in the fray for uh, the Democratic primary. Mm -hmm. That looks like a very credible rumor. We'll mm -hmm. wait and see. But uh, I think so far, rumors about Hillary Clinton, I think uh, I haven't seen much substance to it. Mm -hmm. but, but there's a credible rumor that uh, Mayor Bloomberg might be jumping in? Anji, yes. That would be something that needs to be watched closely. Jack Ji, I want to thank you very much for joining us. We have come to you today with all the updates that have come to the U.S. which are going to be going to the U.S. which are going to be going to the impeachment, which are going to be going to the Democratic primaries, which are going to be going to the U.S. which are going to be going to the U.S. which are going to be going to the U.S. which are going to be going to the U.S.